believe it or not, this might be the way you're going to watch movies in the future. Continuing coverage of demo, Jeffrey Powers here with Geekazine.com. We're here with Justin from a company called Brightworks. Brightworks. Now, what we have right here, it looks like a, just a box, but there's a lot more in this box, and there's a lot of electronics we can't show you right now because, you know, you're, you're working on that. But this could be the way that you're watching movies from the future. Why don't you tell us about what this is all about? Well, this is the world's first professional projector, but at a consumer price point. It retails for $29.99 and has a full integrated computer. Full that's, uh, that's $29. $2,999, okay. and um, uh, even projectors in the thirty dollars to $40,000 range do not equal what this projector can do. Outputs 11,000 lumens of light, has a full ATX board, uh, uh, up to two terabytes of storage on board, uh, 1920 by 1200 uh, display, uh, onboard Wi-Fi, onboard Bluetooth, uh, an IR reader, the ability to control it with your iPod, uh, iPhone, tablet, or another computer. Um, everything that anyone could ever hope for in terms of wireless, effortless control, but in a tiny little 17-inch cube. Uh, oh, and I forgot, onboard 7.1 surround sound. Um, oh. Yeah, and our own customized version of XBMC as the media center that actually controls the whole thing. Now, is that wireless surround or is that uh, wired? Currently, it's wi uh, wired. Next year, we're coming out with wireless surround sound that'll, that'll uh, integrate with the box as well. Okay. You said you said 11, 1,100 lumens, correct? 11,000 11, lumens, okay. What's the power consumption on something like that? Uh, if you get the higher-end version, the 11,000 uh, lumen version, the power consumption is roughly 1,300 watts. 1,300, okay. Yeah. So it's, it's somewhat doable. It's a beefy system, but, but the, the best way to compare it is to a cinema projector, something that's actually in a movie theater. Okay. And what's the, what type of lighting are we talking? Is this LED lighting? or No, metal halide a middle ha a halide bulb and the beauty of that is uh, you get a 90 CRI which is extremely close to sunlight just beautiful color rendition and dirt cheap the bulbs only cost 150 bucks to replace and you get them on Amazon okay. and uh, what how many hours worth of viewing do you get off of that type of bulb uh, the higher end bulbs uh, 750 hours which a lot of people go well that doesn't sound like a lot of hours but what they need to understand is it's we're, we're dealing with physics here the brighter the bulb the lower the lifespan so, so if you've got an eco mode projector and you're used to, you know, something that lasts a thousand hours, well, it's probably a 200 watt bulb, and you're not getting anywhere near our luminous outputs. This is really intended for professionals or home theater enthusiasts that want the professional experience in their home. Okay. Now, you said it's a it's a 10, 10 I'm sorry, a 1080p resolution, correct? 1080p plus, uh, meaning 1920 by 1200. Okay. And I, I'm assuming as resolutions start to really kick up. You know, uh, you'll 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 increase that as time goes by. Sure, sure. Uh, in in the future, we'll obviously continue to innovate the products, but as is right now, there's nothing that compares to what we've built. Okay. So, you how how far away do you have to place this from your screen? That's one of the best features. One of the things we found with a lot of projectors is the throw ratio almost seems random. You'll have a lens that's got a one to 0.87 throw. We decided to make it as effortless as possible. With this happens to be an optic two. Uh, the, the projector actually ships with an optic one. The optic one has a one-to-one -one throw ratio. That means if you're 10 feet away, you got a 10-foot image. Okay. If you're 20 feet away, you got a 20-foot image. And, uh, um, and that's what a typical consumer would want. That way they can put the projector about 10 feet from their wall and have a 10-foot image in their home. Okay. What about distortion? Uh, or is there keying or anything like that? There's keystone correction inside the system that's computer controlled. And so you can operate that through the touch panel on the back. Um, and through your, you know, uh, iPhone or, or Android device. Um, same thing with focus and zoom. And um, the lenses are removable. Nothing at our price point has removable lenses. And as you can see from the glass, it's incredibly big. I mean, this is a true cinema lens here. It's not one of those little dinky things that's, that's you know, hard mounted into the projector. 3D capability? Nope. And that's because we are not believers in 3D. Oh, thank you. Actually, there's a study that just came out. 80% of the 3D movies that were released last year earned less than their 2D counterparts. That means Toy Story 3 in 3D earned less than Toy Story 3 in 2D. Okay. And in fact, many of them dragged down their box office. Toy Story 3 would have actually made about 5% more in the box office if they'd never released in 3D. To me, this confirms something that Walter Murch actually said about 3D, and it's that it doesn't matter how good the technology is, the human brain was never designed to do artificial convergence and focus. Okay. If you think about it, 
Your, conver your eyes converge in the real world at 20 feet and you're focusing at 20 feet. 3D forces the equivalent of rubbing your stomach and patting your head at the same time. It forces you to slow down the editing pace. It interferes with short-term memory. It's not what cinema was supposed to be. And I'm a believer that cinema is not just spectacle. At the end of the day, it's about storytelling and great acting. That's our emphasis, and we're willing to bet our future on that. So if, uh, if the consumers say, we want 3D, then you would? We are not their company, and we are okay with that. Okay. There's other companies out there that do 3D, and they should buy from them. We are the least expensive, high-quality 2D projector. All right. Well, where do people go to get more information about this projector right here? Uh, Brightworks.com, which is spelled B-R-Y-T-E-W-E-R-K-S. We, of course, spelled it as difficult as humanly possible. And uh, that's where they can actually pre-purchase the, the Model 1 right now and read up on all its specs. All right. Can I have one for my living room? Uh, we'll, we'll work something out. Okay, perfect. Sweet. Uh, just kidding on that. But the, the bottom line is, if you are if you are a movie buff, if you're a, uh, an enthusiast, if you're a uh, video file or, or somebody that j just has put together thousands of dollars for your own theater system, complete with seats and everything like that, then this is the uh, this is definitely something to take a look at, especially for three thousand dollars. That's that's an amazing price for this type of theater. I could actually see this not as not as my home theater, but part of as my studio to project stuff from Geekazine and uh, and and do it that way. So that's that's another functionality I can see on that. Lots of great stuff. Once again, the website brightworks.com brightworks.com I will have that in the show notes of course and of course if you got any questions just let me know over at Geekazine I will pass it on to Justin and we'll go from there all right we've got a lot of great videos continuing coverage of demo and uh, I'm just I just started this hallway so we're going to be going down and talking to a lot more companies so stick around we've got more